Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to the uh, the winding down story of Let's Get On With The Romance of the Three Kingdoms 6. Officers have continued to react violently after seeing what I have done to the Emperor. I've pretty much been doing what Dong Zhuo had, had been doing, uh, basically old, holding the Emperor hostage and assuming power as regent. That makes me a very evil and dishonorable person, uh, some of these folks would argue. However, the land must be united under strength and peace. And in order for that to happen, I must be the one who assumes control. The Han Dynasty fell apart, everyone. It fucking fell apart. This wouldn't have happened if the Han Dynasty had been strong enough to remain in control. But clearly it had not been, otherwise the Yellow Turban Rebellion would not have occurred at all. You can say that Zheng Xiao was a character, charismatic guy, but he touched upon strings that, and thoughts that people were holding. And uh, the Han Dynasty's ineptitude in dealing with that, and subsequent ineptitude in pretty much every fucking thing after that point, uh, has led up to this moment. Am I a traitor to the Han? Yes, I am a traitor to the Han. But I'm not a traitor to my land of China. At least, my virtual assumed land of China, according to the, uh, the avatar. My avatar, yes. <laughs> And so I think it is my right and duty to protect the people by uniting this land under one flag, as opposed to letting the Han stay along around because they certainly aren't strong enough to do anything anymore. I'm the one who's doing it all. So yeah, some folks have been dissatisfied with that. Pac-Man Sheng has left service. Uh, Yan Yan left service. Vulture Bobo, the former general of literature, left service. Which is funny, because JG Mystery is still serving me. <laughs> and uh, that's what happens whenever you uh, continually, continuously insult the Emperor and break him down. You'll have officers who leave you, even very trusted, very competent officers. Zhuge Liang, still around. I don't know. <laughs> Oh well, I, get, I think Vulture Boba was still holding so much resentment over being confused, and uh, yeah. Perhaps he was still upset over not being around with me from the beginning of the game like he was in RTK4, because I made him be around with me. No more come along Bobo jokes. Let it be known that anyone who's gotten so upset at me as to leave me, if I catch them serving another ruler, I will execute them. Kind of like what's about to happen here to our good old friend here, Cao Zhu. Or Cao Zhu. I think he might be related. Um, I'm actually going to check. Let me... I, I want to I wanna catch a glimpse here. Master... Oh, wait. <laughs> Forgot he's not serving me anymore. Cao Zhu. An officer of Wu and member of Cao Cao's family. He's given a high rank under Cao Pi. He, detract, he directs troops against Wu, but falls play, prey to Zhu Fang's trick and suffers a large defeat. He dies of remorse and guilt. And what you mean he's an officer of Wei there, game? Yeah, I think they messed up. I think that was a typo there. Not the first typo ever seen in a Koei biography. So, yeah. To be fair, really shouldn't have put him in charge of anything, folks. <laughs> You know, kind of executed Sal 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 P. Yeah, <laughs> this is understandable. That's why I'm gonna have to kill him now. 23 years old. Ah, uh, what a sad age to die. GG, by the way, folks. Let's show you his biography. A general of Wu and protector of Zhao Ji during the later Han, he swears allegiance to Sun Quan in the year 210. Is made general of the left. He later climbs to the rank of General of Defense. Lady Esdian right here, folks, by the way. Oh yeah, General of Outer Vigor. <laughs> <laughs> and Lu Zhang himself, of course. Son of Lu Yan and Governor of Yi in the later Han. In an attempt to hold off Zhang Lu, this leader seeks the help of Lu Bei. However, he ends up being invaded by Lu Bei. It eventually surrenders after seeing the distress of his people. Liu Bei the Virtuous, er, virtuous everybody. Liu Bei the Virtuous. What about you, Xiao Dei? Nephew to Xiao Dun and older brother to Xiao Shang. He protects Mount Tintin Tang. Shu's Yan Yan sets fire to his encampment. 
He's killed by Yan Yan while distracted trying to douse the flames. God damn it, Yan Yan. Yan Yan has killed so many people. <laughs> well, not so many people, but he, he was definitely a murderer of officers in the in the novel. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm actually going to order another attack here. On Nanmen territory. Come along, everybody. Let's do this shit, because I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> Hillman! 180. Hillman, another 180. Footy shall be 180. That shall be 119. Armored Horseman, 54. Goody goody dum drops. Advisor shall be my new war leader, Dead Wizard. Someone I, who I believe has uh, dreams more coinciding with mine. <laughs> and uh, we shall draft more troops here in the event that things go awry. Except for the fact they've already drafted this month. Let's see some combat, folks. Cao Zhu and Liu Zhang should be going down this episode. Sami Yi, folks. Sami Yi has his own ambitions. Uh, for those of you who are uh, who paid attention to the fucking tutorial, you'll know that uh, he set the ground for what later became the Jin Dynasty. Uh, someone posted on my video there, I think, uh, yesterday or the day before, uh, telling me that, no, he didn't take control of Wei, he, he made Jin. And I'm like, no, he didn't make Jin. A grandson of his made Jin. Check your facts. Some of you pretty much did become fucking regent of the damn Wei dynasty, though. Cao Wei. He did, and so did uh, his sons, and then his grandson uh, forced the final uh, emperor of Cao Wei off the throne. That's, that's neither here nor there. Regardless, he had a lot of ambition, he was incredibly intelligent, but I think part of that was because um, his opponents were entirely fucking incompetent. Not his opponents, but like his lord. Like Cao Cao, great guy. Cao Pi... Slightly less intelligent. Sal Rui, more not as intelligent. And so on, far down the line. So I think that's why he's fucking snapped. If you keep control of him, though, I uh, think that changes. At least that's how we're going to play it, folks. So let's go ahead and see what we can do about capturing the commander here. Fear speed. They didn't have an eye net, so they were totally unprepared for this attack. So, yeah. That should be good. So we should handle this pretty easily, folks. I mean, this is Simon motherfucking Yi here, and I have a lot of capable folks as well. You're not fucking escaping from me. Oh, no. Meanwhile, uh, these guys are attacking Simon Yi's unit, and uh, they're not going to get anywhere fast. Regular horsemen on plains uh, terrain versus armored horsemen led by Simon Yi. Who wins? Simon motherfucking Yi. All right, we had to stop Wu Long. Wu Long's like you're a dumb shit. So yeah, all. I don't know though. I mean, I did say they're gonna be executed, but I need more prestige. Would it not show immense generosity on my part? It would also be. It would also be stupid. It's like me dismissing Huang Zhang after seeing everything. It, it would be no. After all these insults, enough is enough. I have tried my damnedest to be kind and generous. There have been a few instances where I've dipped off that path, but that's because it needed to be done. Alright, I did this with Yi Ji, and I did this with Huang Zhang before him. I will offer you all the chance again to join my side. If any of you refuse, I will kill you. I like to think that I properly educated him. I know, that was immense kindness and generosity on my part, everyone. After I said I was going to kill him. So kind and generous. And god damn it, Shiji keeps sending more fucking reinforcements and making this a pain in the ass. Urgh. Pissing me off. Anyway. Capture Commander, Fear Speed. Let's do this as quickly as possible, then. Zhao Dun, I'm actually going to leave him back here to guard the supply tent. And Shiny Unicorn will be coming along with me. But hey, this is burning through more of Lu Zhang's troops. That's alright with me. Alright, we've arrived. So, you know, eventually Lu Zhang won't have enough, even if I get repulsed here again. But damn it, I'm pretty sure I fucking plan on winning this one. Fucking plan on it. 
I've been waiting for this moment. Everybody light the flames. Lol. Lord Master Reaper, what do you command? Death. You, Zhao Dun. Trick fire. Ha 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 ha. That is a Zhang Ren with a war rating of 82. Impressive. Chase duel. That guy with 44 units is uh, probably shooting me with arrows. It is unfortunate. Chase duel. Reaper Gia. Chase duel. Show me your moves. I've been waiting for this moment. Everyone light the flames. You guys are absolutely not succeeding at hitting anyone with flames. Good job. Come on, confuse the enemy commander, and then get him into a duel. It's the way to go. <sighs> Slightly disappointed in myself now, actually, for uh, not killing any of those guys from Kaoju. I didn't even kill him. Uh, Saoju, rather. Just, uh, immense generosity on my part, but hey, you know, they joined me. They didn't betray me, and that was kind of like the fucking, uh, I decided on that. It was like, hey, if you guys join me, I won't kill you. I wasn't expecting all three of them to, like, okay, we'll join you. <laughs> Presumably, then, it was Lu Zhang that led them astray. And it wasn't their fault. At least I'll just try to convince myself that. So, you guys have clearly stalled and you've given uh, Shi Ji enough time to arrive with his reinforcements. If not now, then they're going to arrive whenever I get to the castle battle, which is going to be fucking aggravating as hell. Of course, I got away! -la 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 -la. At least those guys didn't get away, goddammit. Come on, gotta go. We can do this, folks. All right, the reinforcements still have not arrived. Well, in that case, capture commander, fear speed. Capture commander, fear speed. Capture commander, fear speed. Sheldon, capture commander, fear speed, and shiny unicorn. Take a nap. <laughs> Oops, did not mean to do that at all. No. That'll be fine. Go! Hopefully you don't stumble onto four traps. Well, a single trap. You know, not stumbling into one of that would be preferable. But, you know, if you had to hit traps. At least don't hit four of them. What are you guys fucking doing dancing around there? Stop that shit and break through the goddamn gate. We're on a fucking timeline here. Stop. Break through the gate before they kill you all with arrows. It's the only way. Now that I am here, Master Reaper will be defeated. I don't think so. You arrived too late, man. Day 13 was when you arrived. I have an opportunity here to destroy the enemy commander. And I will fucking seize it. Seize the opportunity before it's too late. And after this, I will see if I can become emperor. And then I will try to see if uh, Shi Ji will submit to me. If that does not happen, I do apologize for it not working, but, uh, it's the best I can do. I guess I can try and bribe him and then see if he'll accept it, but, yeah. GG has a lot of troops. That kind of pisses me off. <laughs> and at this point, I'm not so... I don't exactly want to make two knives with him right now, but yeah. That's my explanation for it. GG should accept the uh, idea of being an underling to me, though, as soon as how you know. Kind of be to his benefit if he did. Kind of be suicidal if he did. And Zhang Ren's about to go down. He is fucked. God damn it, Zhao Dun. Don't get fucking confused. Oh no, Xi Ji's reinforcements have arrived too late. If only you came sooner, you aren't a reliable ally at all. I will chase you. There we go. Ha ha. I captured some of you. Na 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 na. Oh no. Now you lost some of your precious troops, Shiji. That's terrible. Terrible story. Oh no!
news. I've captured so many officers. I'm totally gonna get my my prestige value back up. People might be betraying me, but the the <laughs> the, the majority of the citizenry of China will see me as a kind and generous soul, and that's what matters. You you're, you're not going free though. You can go free. So can you. And you. And you. Yes, you'll have my head. Next time will prove to be my downfall. Except for the fact that I'm all the way in low yang. Mercy for you. Mercy from me. You've never been so insulted. It's terrible. Oh my god. I'm breaking your heart. Wang Larry. You can go free as well. The generosity of Master Reaper knows no bounds. I'm the kindest man in all of China. Lu Yi, didn't he betray me at one point? He looked familiar. Okay, time to start imprisoning people. I think that's enough people released now. Zhou Ying, yes, I remember you guys as plants. Nope, you're not dying. Can, nope. I do ask you to live for this shame. Oh, yay, somebody join me. Lu Zhang? Yeah, you go free. I caught you unprepared? Yeah, you were totally unprepared for death, bro. Xiao Wen, yeah, sure. Wang Ling has the until the age of 77. I have never seen a man as courageous as Lord Guan. His courage is truly godly. I can go without, yes, yes, I've heard your bullshit. Looks like I chose the wrong ruler. I can no longer serve you. Man Chong has left your service. Lord Mas, I am already where? You guys think I didn't get the memo the first time? What the fuck? I'm like the most prestigious man in all of China. I cannot serve you! <laughs> it's funny as hell. Alright, so I'm gonna leave this city behind, folks. Uh, probably shouldn't leave Nin here, though. Um, let's move some officers. I'm gonna put some officers I can trust more in charge of that city. Like, uh, that one's, tell you what, I want Simon Yi back with me, and I'm going to take you, you, and you back with me as well. I'm going to watch over you children. Pokey Hokey and Wei Yan are going to look after this city. Pang Day is going back to, uh the other city. The Barbarian Citadel that I left behind. Although I did already move an officer in there, so I guess that's fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'll just leave these guys basically in charge of protecting this, and they will do a good job. I have faith in them. They will serve me well and faithfully. Control, loyalty, and empire. Pang Day, for certain, will serve me loyally. I have faith in them. Alright, yep. And let's just go ahead and, uh, let's see what we can do here. You guys will be fine the way you are. This city, though, we are going to draft some folks. Give me some tribal units, bros. Hell yeah. Give me some other units, bros. So, in the event that Xi Ji does not, uh, wish to, uh, serve me, uh, as as my underling. I do apologize for that. But, uh, you know, I can quickly deal with him. Either way, we're gonna see what happens. Uh, I do believe I'll end this episode here a tad early. Or maybe not. I'll just drag on the length a bit more. Let's see what's, what's going on on the map here. In terms of rulers. Yeah. I kinda like have, you know, ten times as many troops as he does. Yeah. They're properly aligned on his front, at least most of them. He's kind of been losing some troops and aiding his ally. Yeah. The city really doesn't have that much in the way of troops. Yeah. We'll see, folks. How much energy does Master... Oh, God damn it, I pressed the wrong button. Master Reaper have... Uh... All right, 43. Next time, I'll see what I can do with 43 energy with Master Reaper. It'll be funsies. We'll have a good time, y'all. Tune in. Bye-bye.